This is the Ultimate Gaming Pod. Welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Pod. Your experience will begin when the pod closes. This video has been sponsored by Gigabyte. Upgrade your life with the most comprehensive product lineup encompassing business to gamers to even creators with the best hardware to get the job done. 2020 has been an interesting year to say the least. It forced us to reevaluate what's important. With movie theaters, live concerts, and sporting events all shut down, it also forced us to find new ways to keep ourselves entertained. One thing that remained the same was gaming. We could stay in touch and interact with friends through the power of gaming. Even with social distancing measures, gaming made it feel like we were still connected. So we decided to celebrate gaming by partnering with Gigabyte to build the ultimate gaming pod. You guys remember our ultimate sleeping pod, right? <laughs> I know you guys do. You ask about it all the time. Yes, I still use it occasionally. And it's still at the old shop. And that's because we kind of welded it to the wall. We're not going to be able to move it anytime soon. Let's go take a look. Man, the old garage. It kind of feels weird being back here. The sleeping pod. This is actually one of my favorite projects. It's kind of a shame that we weren't able to bring it to the shop with us. Huh. Guess that's where Riley's been. Anyway, to turn this into the ultimate gaming pod, I'm gonna have to become someone else. Starting his career in 2007 as a tech presenter for the now-defunct computer retailer NCIX, Linus Sebastian moved on to create one of the most successful technology YouTube channels in the world. By 2020, the Linus Media Group had grown into a veritable empire, much like Linus's newfound beard. But in the year 2030, LMG is bankrupt and Linus Sebastian, once the savior of tech reviews, now homeless. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to build the ultimate gaming pod. And as you can see by all this black and orange hardware, Gigabyte hooked us the math up. We've got the 32-inch ultra-wide gaming monitor. We've got the Aorus Liquid Cooler 280. We've got a Gigabyte P8550GM power supply. We've got the X570 Aorus Extreme motherboard. We have not one, but two RTX 3090s. We've got 32 gigs of AORS RGB memory. We've got a nice mouse, another monitor, and of course, the 5800X AMD Ryzen 7. Oh, and two NVMe of measly, oh, two terabytes each, wow. That's pretty good. Two of them. Mm, LTTstore.com. All right, so what's the first thing you need in building the ultimate gaming pod? Well, of course, you need a mother of board. Yep. We've got the awesome Aorus X570. This is one beautiful motherboard. Look at that. But safety first, gotta put on my ESD bracelet, but I'm gonna put on my ankle like all the cool kids do. All right, we've got the motherboard. Now we can put in the CPU. Whew, that went in smooth. Almost as smooth as this segue to our sponsor. This build has been brought to you by both AMD and Aorus. The AMD Ryzen 5000 generational processor features both single-threaded and multi-threaded improvements, giving you the world's most advanced processor architecture. Coupled with the AMD PCIe 4.0 ecosystem and the Aorus X570 slash B550 motherboard, they are the perfect future-proof platform for both gamers and content creators alike. Throw in the world's best cool GPU, the Aorus RTX 3090 Extreme, and well, you'll be ready for anything. Next up, let's install the RAM. Now they sent us the AORS RGB RAM, which obviously means it's faster because of the RGB. All right, last one. Motherboard, processor, memory, what's next? Cooler, cooler. All right, so we've got this beautiful liquid cooler featuring 240 mil fans. Let's take a look. Well, that's weird. It's a circle, but this is a square. And in kindergarten, I learned that squares don't go in circle holes. 
So they actually sent us not one, but two 3090s. And as you guys know, these things are beastly and we're actually gonna need a much bigger power supply than this guy, so. They actually sent us a 1500 watt power supply, which will have no problem powering the whole computer plus both of these 3090s. So let's get that set up. That is one hefty power supply. All right, let's take a look at one of these fabled 3090s. I have never actually seen one of these in person yet. Look at that cute, cool little uh, action figure. She is a thick boy. Look at that. Ooh, that's not even in my talking points. Look at this, Owen. We have three HDMI and three DisplayPort. Most graphic cards force you to choose between like two DPs and one HDMI, but no, we've got three of each. That's, that's pretty awesome. All right, I think I have the 3090 installed. I'm not gonna put the second one in just yet because there's literally nothing to support it. Right now this is kind of just resting on the motherboard. Let's plug everything together. So, we got our power supply. Our main power connector. We just gotta go. Okay, we located all the cables. So, let's see if this thing works. I'm gonna use DisplayPort because it's the first cable I found. All right, moment of truth. Let's plug in this five to $10,000 machine based on current scalping prices. Oh, RGB. So it should beep and something should show up on here. Oh, there's an LCD screen on the graphics card. So we got four sticks of RAM. I successfully installed the RAM correctly. We got a 3.7 gigahertz processor. That sounds about right. All right, everything seems to work, which means now we can take it all apart again and rebuild it inside of the case for the gaming pod. And unlike Linus's normal builds, this actually worked first try. All right, before we put the case in, I still have to install the NVMe drives. Now, since this is a gaming pod, we're gonna use one of our drives exclusively for games and the other one for the operating system, which is complete overkill since it's two terabytes. Comes with a chunk and copper. Okay, guys, I have, I have never actually seen an MVME drive that looks like this. Damn. Look at that. All right, drive number two. Looks just as pretty as the last one. There we go. All right, so this case, what is this case? It's a gigabyte case, obviously. Now we just have to put all this stuff inside here. So with the power of video editing, all right, it's done. It, it took a while. There was quite a bit of cable management in the back and as you know about my OCD, well, I didn't want to make the editors film me adjusting every little wire. Now, anyways, this is the C200 case, which is a fantastic case for 99% of gaming PC builds. But Gigabyte also sent us a second 3090, so we actually had to get a little creative and mount it on the outside of the case. Now that really isn't an issue for us, so let's keep going with this gaming pod. And I think it's time to get back to hacksmithing.
All right, let's put this pod together. Easy does it. Ooh. Now this is the part of the video where I drop it. Just kidding, I'm not actually Linus. <laughs> All right, now I just have to feed the wires through the hole. All right, on to the fun part. Mounting the, the monitors. Into the pod we go. So this next step is a little unorthodox. You gotta roll onto your back, pick up the monitor with your feet. All right, there's one. Now for the other one. Look at this. Ooh, double monitors. Well, I'm gonna have to do some wire management. We have our Ecobee thermostat because the pod is actually fully air conditioned and heated. We've got our tablet, which lets us also control the lighting inside of the pod. Let's uh, do a nice purple. And of course, you press the button. Welcome to the ultimate gaming pod. Your experience will begin when the pod closes. Then just have climb inside. And this is the cool part. Oh yeah. So we've got two monitors. You use the top monitor for your gaming and the bottom monitor for reference or streaming. You can pull the uh, lap desk out right onto your lap, like so. And then you're ready to go. Time to game. See uh, screen refresh rate 144, render resolution 5K. Look at that! I'm not even not even even close to the ridiculous 24 gigabytes of graphics memory on the 3090s. And by the way, that's this is just using one of them, not not even both. Display. Anyway, check out our gaming channel too. Maybe I'll post some new gaming videos on there soon. Or maybe not. We'll see.